Good evening and welcome to Next Gen Season 17. This is the Modern Touring Cars. And for the first time ever, everyone is in the V8 supercar. The Ford, Fu uh, Ford Falcon V8 here at Road America for the penultimate round of the championship. We have 15 runners in tow for tonight, all trying to tame this beast. And it should create some thrilling racing. Five minutes of qualifying to come. Let's go over the top five in the championship so far. Uh, AMH Racing is leading the championship. He has the chance to seal the, seal the title tonight. And I'll go through how he can do that uh, in a in a, just a short while. Uh, four fish. So AMH is leading on 152. Four fish on 125. Cam has 114 with Jack on 100. And D White House is on 92. So 15 drivers. We have Big Bloody B. GT5 Vass is returning. AMH. Speedy Gone Hogo. Webby's a Johnny. Shadow Stalker, Traumatic Dave, Rally Matt, The Les, D White House, Epic Legend, uh, Tim, Cam123, Diz, Four Fish, and obviously Jack TM53. Synopsis. A couple of fillers in for tonight. I'll see GT5 Vass and Rally Matt. Rally Matt last time taking a good result. Uh, not last time. Uh, Brands Hatch GP took a good result there. We'll be hoping for the same thing. So Road America, a 4.048 mile circuit. Six and a half kilometers in length. It's a mighty, mighty circuit for these cars. And it should be a good, a good race. Um, these cars providing fantastic action in the past. Hopefully they'll even better. Let's go on board. Who's the last? Who is that? Who's just crossed the line? Tim. Let's go on board, Tim. Turn one, there's 90 degree right hander. Over the hill, and this is classified as turn two, this little flick. Turn three, another 90 degree right hander. So you hit the brakes. Quite long right handers, but um, there's control there from Tim. Then we go down towards turn four as we head towards the Moraine sweep. Down the hill, flicking left, and then go down towards turn five. Hitting the brakes. Again, a very this this one a very tight left hand. You see Tim just about getting the car slowed down. There's a spinner ahead of us. Up over the hill into turn six. Very late on the brakes that from Tim, and he's gone wide as a result. Turn seven. A, a flick right that's a bit tighter than a flick, but uh, I don't want to really touch the curbs. Down to turn eight. A really tight 90 degree left hand bend before you head into the carousel, turns 9 and 10. And this long right hand, her times are starting to come in AMH with a 209.6. You see, this is where turn 10 of the carousel comes in and just tightens up. Down to turn 11, called the kink or Catherine Legs. This is where Catherine Leg had a massive accident um, in the IndyCar series. Through 11A, this little flick left, before then going down into the kettle kettle bottoms, and then into Canada Corner for turn 12. Getting just another 90 degree right hand bend. Qualifying is already over, so I see some people only getting one lap. Uh, 13, long left hand uh, does tighten, and Tim's not quite got that right. He's kept on the just about kept it in line though. Good driving. Then turn 14. Out of 14, up the hill. 
kept him a bit of a weird line on a straight, but uh, up over the hill, across the line, and uh, Tim puts in a 221.7. Shutterstalker having all sorts of issues right now on the grass. There's Traumatic Dave. He crosses the line. Doesn't set a time. Shadow Stalker. Same for him. Epic Legend hasn't set a time as well. Full Fish is currently fastest man on the circuit at 209.4. 209.6 for Kara. 209.6 for MH. 209.7 for GT5 Fast. The Lions with the 210.7. Jack on a 210.8. 1.3 seconds covers the top six here in qualifying. They make sure the first man as well in the train. To finish off his qualifying. Comes up to the line. Puts it on provisional pole with 208.6. GT5 Vassa 209.4. The layers are 208. Point one. Jack just clipping the grass on the exit of turn 14. Currently 6th. He's now 2.7 off the pace. That's a hell of a time from the Lairs. Jack puts in a 209.4. And that ends our qualifying session. So the Lairs takes pole position here at Road America. Alongside him is AMH Racing. Jack is in third alongside him. GT5 Vass. Four Fish and Cam are on row three. Row four is Big Bloody B and Webby Johnny. Row five, Speed Gone Hoga and Rally. Row six is Seven and Tim. Row seven is Shadowstalker and Dramatic Day. Epic Legend is at the back of the pack in 15th. Normally we'd have another drive with Bruce Lee Harding. He's not here with us tonight, unfortunately. Um, he doesn't have any internet after. I believe he's, he has moved to very recently and the uh, the internet company has not been very useful for his sim racing. As I said, AMH can win here today the championship around early, even with the drop scores in play. He must finish uh, eighth or above, uh, which also means we will include all the filler uh, uh, adjustments to come. Is right, but let's see what happens for the first time ever in the Paramax modern touring car league history. We go racing in V8 supercars. The lights are on. We sink in. We have the three. Where are they? Here they are. The three lights. We are green at Road America. It's a great start from AMH. Towards turn one of ten. Hear the screaming of the V8. We have got three. It's lagging. But AMA GT5 fast right now. He would be the champion for the season. Four fish, he's in third. Into turn five they go. AMH managed to defend brilliantly. But here comes four fish down the inside of Vass. He's into second place. Vass loses it on the curb. He just hits the layers. No one's gone off though. Fantastic driving from the pair. Into turn six, the Lairs will take third place back. Vass getting all squirrely. And it allows Cam through as well, actually. Vass really is all out of shape because there goes Jack, and Johnny is not too far away from him. Oh, Vass is spun. So that's Rally Matt up into seventh place. But right now, 
AMH, who is now leading the way, and that's a bit wide from Johnny, a bit wide from Matt. And uh, not Matt. Yeah, it is Matt. D. Whitehouse was maybe potentially going to get a run on the pair, but managed to keep it in line just enough. Jermaine Davis is a little bit wide out of the Canada corner. And passed by Speedy Gone Hogo. There's Epic Legend. He's at the back of the moment. He's got a bit of a lag issue going on at the moment from our screens. There's Yelly though. On to lap two. AMH Racing. Into turn one. And we have a retirement. No, that's Big Bloody B has retired from the session. That's a bit weird. that he left. Bit of a weird one, but we're down to 14 after two, after one lap of racing. And four fish is on the back of, a, of AMH. Just not quite close enough, but we have got a bit of a battle brewing because Jack is now into fourth place ahead of Cam. And he's looking out the back of the Les as we go towards the carousel. The number six car. See all the cars getting out of shape. Cam just about saving it through turn eight. Up towards legs we go. And that was AMH wide. AMH was definitely wide going through the kink. Four fish was looking down the inside to sight better of it. Johnny with Johnny's gone wide at Canada Corner. Vast through along with D White House running Matt up into sixth at the moment. He's got GT5 Vast just behind him. Trying to talk with Speedy Gone Hogo just behind. Oh, no, like a bit of lag from GT5 Vass. But DY House is now up into seventh place. They hit the brakes into turn one for the third time. New eyes down the inside at turn three. Gets the move done. Matt, not a lot he could have done about that one. Once D.Y. House is down the inside, there's not a lot you can do. Meanwhile, I think Fourfish has had a moment somewhere. Jack's gone a bit wide through turn five. He's now dropped down to fourth behind the lies and Fourfish. Fourfish has dropped bar back from AMH. Epic Legend is now in the pits. There is no pit stop requirement in this race. Tie wear is on, but uh, I guess if Epic Legend is having that bad of a race, he can. He has retired into the pit box, unfortunately. It's from down to 13 runners. Through the kink, four fish, followed by the layers, followed by Jack. Meanwhile, Vass has got past running Matt, and Matt's going to have Johnny just behind. I think Matt was slow coming out of the carousel. Through the they go, the number 78 machine. There go, news. Vass. Vass to the kink. On lap three, down towards Kelly. Into 
the final corner for Rally Matt. Jack and Cam as they go into turn one. They may just set a 208.8 in the race. That's a, that's a great place to be setting at this time. into turn of five a bit of a wiggle ah oh, it's a shame epic legend unfortunately there's too much lag for him to continue so we could see it on our on our screen maybe a router reset maybe required on that one it's a bit a bit of a shame because it's a great car to drive the v8 supercar tricky but good to drive uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the, the rest of the race. We see Jack still in third place. Meanwhile, a bit further back. Got this train. D. White House, Vass, Rally Max, Johnny. Then Speedy Gon, Hogo. Not too far behind, but we're going to go back to this... Uh, this bout. See Jack and Cam. Jack, uh, the unofficial Group A ones champion for season 17. Looking maybe for a strong result here at the moment. He's currently in third. You'll be happy with his current performance if he can stay there as we head into the final corner. Across the line. See Jack just that Constantino effect will close back into Jack going into turn one. But uh, Jack got a good run out of the final corner. A bit of slipstream. He's not at the best exit out of turn one though. It's gonna give Cam a bit of confidence in the potentially overtaking him here. Five. Jack the back end just getting a bit loose on corner entry. He's right behind Fourfish now. I think Fourfish has made a mistake somewhere in the number seven machine. Down towards turn eight. AMH has checked out, and this will be the championship in AMH's hands. Through the carousel. Again, Jack gets a bit twitchy. Again, Cam is close enough to have a sniff, but through the kink, there is only one line through this kink. You don't want to go side by side through it, it will end in tears. But Cam's got a good run out of the kink. He's going to come alongside into Canada Corner then. Still side by side, out of Canada corner, up into 13. Jack just about stays ahead, a bit of a bump from Cam. Again, all just part of the racing, into turn 14. Jack just about holding on to third place right now, but he's lost time to four fish. This midfield battle is just not quite forming into the battle just yet. We are only on lap number five, though. d -Wales hits the brakes into turn one. Going to come back because Cam has now overtaken Jack. Although I wonder if Jack has decided let Cam go. That flash of the lights. That tells me Jack wants to work with Cam here for a little bit. 
That's AMH. AMH has gone off into turn five. Four fish now leads. AMH down to fourth at the moment. Still wouldn't be enough, although that is... Who is that? It's going down. That was Jack. Having a little bit of an issue, so that promotes AMH up into third again. Jack right behind the champion elect in number 11 versus number 6. Jack gets the back end loose coming out of Canada Corner. He just about saves it. Too much power though. And that is what the car can do. It will bite your head off if you're not careful. Umar DIR7 has been overtaken by Vass coming out of Canada Corner into turn 13. DY has to realise here is that even if he finishes behind Vass and Rally Matt, he will technically get the points still for sixth place. And those two those two drivers classified as fillers, meaning uh, that they will not be able to do half of the season as a minimum requirement. So points get adjusted. They still get their places in the table, but the points are adjusted so those behind f finish um, effectively where the permanent drivers will finish in order. That is Jack. Jack's had a moment somewhere, and he's lost a lot of time, because now he's got fast right behind him. So we head up into the closing stages of this race. We're on lap seven. So we've got about three and a half laps to go. And this wouldn't have been on Jack's plan. Again, he's getting squarely coming out of corners. Again, see that the body shake is because the back end's trying to come loose. Jack's having to correct it so early. Uh, that is GT5 Vass. He's in the wall. <laughs> he's uh, he's obviously just lost the rear end. he gone into the inside wall. Could happen for many reasons. Could be because if you clip the curbs, because the curbs aren't are notoriously not very nice around road America. Through the kink for Jack. He's got a bit of time. Oh, that's a bit of a risky line there from Jack. He's got a bit of time to Dean Whitehouse. Really Matt has two seconds to speak on you. He's got two seconds to web user Johnny. Back at the front though. About to go to lap number eight for four fish. He is pretty much doing everything he can in his power to keep this championship alive but as we sit it's not going to be enough he's got Cam right behind him now as well on board with Cam once again We head through Moraine Sweep into turn five. Got Tim up ahead, about two corners away now. For as a lapped car up into turn six under the Corvette Bridge. Both drivers getting a little bit of a wiggle through turn seven down towards turn eight. Into the carousel, turns nine and ten. A 
Olympic legend. Been a rather bad first season for for him. Uh, he got to start somewhere. Obviously, it doesn't always go to plan. As Fourfish goes to cover. Oh, and he covers again. But Cam sends it down the inside. That's a great move from Cam. Cam now leads this race. He's had the pace. Now, can he get away? He's in the MH is looking for a move as well on four fish. Can't quite get the move done. But fantastic move from Cam. I wish we had a replay function on Project Cars too. I'd love to have another look at that one. Um, yeah, back to Epic Legend. Yeah, you, you got to start somewhere. See, it's it's a steep curve with with these guys. Trust me. I started racing with them. Oh, as AMH have to go late on the brakes. He's tapped four fish. They're both round. Four fish keeping it for just about. Just rejoining now. The Lance goes up into second place. We've had another retirement. That is NGR Tim has retired, unfortunately, from the race. Um, yeah, I, I started racing with these boys about six seasons ago. And uh, it was a tough first season, especially as I, I was on a controller back then. Um, very, very tough. But you do get quicker racing these guys. They are very quick. There's no doubt about it. Um, and, and you will get quicker, and you will get you will get that season where it goes right for you. Um, it's a fantastic spectacle to watch the the, mon the Monday Night Tourers. You can see the leader here of camp. It's four fish and AMH. They're in a little battle at the moment. Third and fourth. At the moment, AMH will be, if it finishes now, AMH will be guaranteed 165 points, and the maximum Fourfish can get is 153. So this would make AMH champion. Just want to go down the outside of Canada Corner. Still alongside. They've got the last. About states ahead, though. Towards the final corner, four fish is going to have to go defensive into turn one. Starts to he moves to the middle of the circuit, moves back to the outside. AMH looking at down the inside, bit of a door up. But AMH is through. He lets Fourfish go though. Maybe it looked like just a minor Dora, but if AMH, uh, if that was bit, that felt a bit more more of a Dora than it seemed on the on the screen. AMH just let him back through. He's gonna have another crack though. By the looks of it, into turn five. Fourfish not as defensive as I thought he would have been in turn one. Oh, AMH trying something very interesting. It all goes wrong. He's in the wall. An interesting style of move from AMH. It's not quite paid off. I can see what he's trying to do, and he's gone well wide at turn six. Um, yeah, I can see what he's trying to do. He, I think he kind of knew that four fish would kind of drift out wide, but four fish didn't drift out wide uh, as wide as he probably thought. D.Y. has has Vass up his chuff. Jack is down into seventh place as we speak. Matt in eighth. We've got a nice little battle here between Speedy Gone Hogo and maybe a Johnny. I think there's only about half a second now splitting the two. As we go through the carousel. Meanwhile, we're going to watch this man through the final corner. It's been a good drive from Cam. He's made some good moves. He's been patient and it's been a brilliantly, brilliantly patient drive from Cam.
Cam 93 Days wins at Road America in the V8 Supercars. The Les will come home second after qualifying on pole position. Four fish third, but here he is. Your Season 17 Modern Touring Car Champion, AMH Racing, comes home fourth and is the champion for Season 17. Now that was uh, Shutterstock, I believe, in 12th. DY House comes home in 5th. Vass in 6th. Jack is in 7th. Rally Matt he will be in 8th place. Speedy Gone Hogo will beat Johnny to the line. He comes home 9th. Johnny 10th. Traumatic Dave will be 11th. Just going to blue screen everyone for one minute as I invite or suggest AMH to the party. Here comes Traumatic Dave across the line. And that is the end of the modern touring cars. So, Cam 1, 2, 3 Diz takes the win. The Les in second, Four Fish third, AMH fourth, and the champion of the season. D. White House is in fifth, with Vass in sixth. Uh, Jack seventh, Rally Matt eighth, Speedy Gone Hogo ninth, Bobby Johnny tenth, Traumatic Dave eleventh, Shadow Stalker twelfth, Tim in thirteenth. And I believe Andrew has arrived. Good evening, Andrew. Hello, good evening. And congratulations, according to my maths, you are the Season 17 Modern Touring Car Champion. Thank you very much. Um, not the way I wanted to clinch the title, but um, I'll take it anyway. Uh, no, but it's been a start of a season or anything. I mean, you, you kind of grew the gap quite early on. Um, and it, ever since then, you've kind of been in control for the season. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of learnt from last season that you can never be too far in front because um, Benji crept up on me at the last minute, so I thought as long as I can get a decent gap uh, out ahead, I should have a decent cushion so that if any silly mistakes happen, as <laughs> the tent, so um, I've got enough to cover it. But uh, yeah, Matt's driven brilliantly all year, so has Fawfish. Um, come on really strong. I've got to apologise to Fawfish because all those little incidents were my fault don't know how I kept binning it into the back of him. The car just had no grip. From from the first time I went off where I lost the lead to the last lap, the car was all over the place. I've got no idea what happened there. It was like a flick switch. Uh, I don't know if Jack is here, whether he's got anything to ask question-wise or the such. Um, well, uh, first of all, congratulations, mate. Thank you. Second of all, this season's been pretty mega for you. I know that, you know, in terms of, you know, boss in the BMW, you know, very, you know, very quick in the Megane, the same with the Merc race not so long ago at Brands Hatch. The real question is now is, when are you going to drive the Astro? I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, <laughs> tell you what, what I'll do next season, because... A lot of people will be transferring to ACC. I'll be doing that as well. But what I'll be doing, I'll start the season in the Astra and see how we get on. <laughs> I might be utterly shocking. As I mean, tonight's an example. I've been on ACC all weekend, had no practice for this, come in and been woeful. Like, I was fine for the first half of the race, then I dropped it on my own mistake, and then that was it. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll take you on in the Astra. I'll go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Peer pressure, isn't it? Yeah. We'll, yeah. See, we'll see who gets more wins next season. <laughs> None of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, we'll both be on zero at the end of the year. No, it's good. I mean, we're normally quite close in the Clio's anyway, and I am honestly dreading this Clio race because I've got to beat Matt, haven't I? That's the only way around it. I've got to beat Matt in both the remaining races, so mm -hmm. he's got the upper hand now, but he's also got the most to lose, so game on. Yeah. 
Well, congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, you have to cut it short because you do have the Clio's up next. Um, which, if you stick, people stick around, they can watch my point of view as you see a commentator try and drive a car. Um, <laughs> but obviously, next week for the modern touring cars, we head to the finale at Alton Park International. Um, it's becoming like the standard finale home of the series. Um, but until so do join us next week for that one but until then thank you to Paramax for sponsoring the league and thank you to everyone who's watched tonight do stay tuned next week for more racing from the modern touring cars goodbye